Hey -o, everyone, it is the Loki Monster here and in this video we are going to be unlocking the next piece of the Cosmic Raymond set, the Cosmic Cloak. So we're here at Loremaster Hazel's hut in Battleon Town Square and we're going to check this out so i was gonna click on my pet to start it and i did this last time too it still annoys me you cannot start it from your pet so you're gonna have to go to the lodge no matter what and then we're going to click on the cosmic raiment here and then we're going to click on unearthing the raiment at the very top there so welcome back loki monster i think we might be closer to our studies of this cosmic being well previously we had found evidence of it working close to land i have discovered some local whisperings of a mysterious sighting among the clouds robina has let me know of some locations within the green guard area that allow from some high vantage points anywhere in particular spring to mind find the vantage point find a clue catch the prize well our hint is spring and spring would be with green guard box springs so we're going to travel to green guard and then we're going to green guard forest and we're going to run through the forest over to fort sneed and then when you get to fort sneed you just want to just come over by the ramp here and then around the corner and into the cave now we're at box springs and we're gonna follow the arrow now i'm gonna tell you right now honestly i can't parkour i have a condition called um dysgraphia it's a neurological learning disability it affects writing and forming sentences, but it also affects fine motor skills. So I have very bad fine motor skills, and it's taken me years and years of practice to be able to do anything like this. And this I actually failed probably, oh, about three dozen times before I did finally get up here. But if I can do it, you can do it. So... <laughs> but I was not too happy about it, <laughs> believe me. So now that we have reached that point, we're going to come over here by the fire and then right around by the fire, you'll see this mug on the ground. So I'm not sure if the mug is talking to us, but it says after drinking, we get hungry or something. So we have to go catch a prize, which is we got to go fishing. So over we go to the fishing and I followed the arrow to make sure I went to the right node. Yeah, about 16 fish later, I finally did catch a prize. So when I did, it said quest ready to turn in. So I was going to bring up my menu. Um made sure I had to go back to see Lore Master Hazel and I was about to travel and then my camera crashed when I actually had changed my mind and used my pet and then the game crashed so I ended up here and now our next quest is to find some other high up places so we're going to find a lofty branch a fiery peak a ruler's pinnacle and an alien ascent so the first place we're going to go is we're going to go to the travel menu and then we're going to go to the world tree because there's a lofty branch there isn't it and when we get to the world tree we're going to follow our quest arrow again that's up in the upper right hand corner if you're newer to the game i should have mentioned that um and we're going to hop over here i am really bad at parkour guys i am not kidding and it's actually painful after a while like trying to control your fingers precisely now we found our little lofty spot so we're just going to click on that and then i forgot where i was going okay it's a fiery place so we're going to travel to um ashfall and mount ashfall and when we get here we're just going to jump up over here and click on this there's our fiery peak and then our next one is a ruler's pinnacle so we're going to bring up the menu again 
but this time we're going to click on adventures and then world areas and then we're going to go down the list until we find San C and then click on the pyramids. You cannot travel to the pyramids directly from the regular travel menu so you need to use the adventure menu. And once you're here you're going to head following the arrow out to this pyramid. Now I do have to say parkour aside, um, like the difficult one with the boxes, I actually do enjoy these quests where you have to go figure out the clues, hunt for things. So now we have our pinnacle. So we're going to again travel and this time we're going to go to Babylon and we're going to go to the magic shop. Now actually afterwards I thought about it and there's probably under special locations as well but from warlock we're going to click on the lunar surface and then when we get here we're going to book it way over here following the arrow once again and we're going to climb some rocks this time and i don't mind climbing rocks and stuff like that but little fine ones where it's just like a little box you gotta land on oh that's just awful for me <laughs> but you know, I did have fun doing this, and I gotta tell you, the daily is really fun, guys. I'm going to use my Cosmic Companion to turn that in, and we are going to have to create the pattern once again. I'll click OK, and then we're going to Pattern Research, and that's at the very top the cosmic cloak and we're gonna hit craft now just for the sake of this video i'm going to speed that up even though i am going to break this video into two parts so we just need to turn that in to get our cosmic cloak now we got the repeatable has come up so i'm going to go ahead and do the repeatable but i'm going to do the daily later the repeatable you can do over and over and this you'll get two cosmic threads now for this we're going to have to return where we started and um, catch a hungry riverling and a frayed cloak thread so we're going to travel back to where we started which is rock springs and i'm just going to jump straight there because i already showed you how to get there and we're going to go to this fire and grill the fish and hopefully this will attract there he is the uh, hungry riverling and even though he has a good amount of hp um he isn't that tough to beat this is actually almost close to triple speed and um, it tends to glitch my editor when I do this so I can only get away with uh, speeding it up so much. So now we have our frayed cloak piece. So let's check out the cloak we earned. So I'm just going to bring it up in my menu here. We'll just click on it. Is that not gorgeous? Now this is the regular cloak. This is not the awakened one. Now if you want to craft the awakened version, we have the repeatable quest, like I said, here at the top. But if you do do this one, you should know that the awakened version costs 5,000 threads and you're only earning two, thousand, two threads here. So that's 2,500 times you're going to have to kill this little beastie here. Or you could do the daily instead, which is the new one is the Magic Stein. Or you could do any of the older ones that we have done before. Um, I will tell you that the new one besides being really fun you won't earn any xp now all the other ones are in skilled areas so you'll be earning your class xp and your xp so it's really up to you which you choose to do so in my next video i'll be taking you through the magic stein quest and showing you how to do that and um, for your reward you get to choose your reward for these so i want to thank you all for joining me and if you like my videos please hit that thumbs up and subscribe i'll see you next time Bye bye oh and here's the capes